Let's get into like, you know, you leave school, right? Yep. You graduate. Mm -hmm. And then what happens? Um, what happens was interesting in a way. Um, Herb Whitaker, uh, at that point in, 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 uh, in Ryerson history, uh, Herb would come and review the show. And it felt very New York because there was a 2 p.m., a 2 a.m. edition of the Globe and Mail that would come out and we would open the show and then we all would go up to Franz and stay there eating and drinking until the guy comes in and puts the newspaper in and then you open this feels like an old movie, doesn't it? And then you open it up and then there there'd be the review in the paper, man. It was it was amazing. Anyway, Herb Whitaker actually went and saw a lot of theater and liked a lot of theater and liked a lot of people and really believed in helping people. And he liked what I did in my last year. And so he contacted a friend of his who was coming up from the Walnut Street Theater in Philadelphia, who was directing uh, Caesar and Cle no, yes, yeah, Caesar and Cleopatra at the Shaw Festival, and he went to him and said, "There's this young black kid. Um, I think he'd be great in your show because they have the requisite slave parts and stuff in that Ooh. show." And I, he, Herb, introduced me to the guy, set up the audition. I got it. And straight out of theater school, I was down at the Shaw Festival and an equity member. Mm. But that was just roll the dice fluke, mm -hmm. right? And, and to this day, um, Herb Whitaker has always had a really special place in my heart because he did it just on belief mm -hmm. and, and actually, you know, really propelled my career in a particular way. And you don't find that anymore. You don't find that that sense of, you know, uh, people who are invested in the art and want to see it happen 